Welcome back, friends. This is Wings Rule here, and we are back with another war recap video. Um, we had a great war. Uh, I don't know how to how else to describe this, um, not other than just it was a great war. Uh, we were severely over overpowered. Um, we actually ended up losing by a little bit more than I expected, but um, yeah, these guys were ridiculous. So, um, <laughs> yeah, these guys, this is us. We got hammered. Um, as you can see, our number one, Town Hall 11, got three starred. Yours truly got three starred. Uh, yeah, they beat us handily. Um, as you can see, one, two, three, four Town Hall 11s. And a Town Hall 10. Um, yeah, these guys, they were pretty good. They were pretty good. They were not just uh, wielding a big sword um, while it was still in its sheath. They were cutting the shit out of us. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some good attacks. We did have some really good attacks. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start it off with an attack. My first attack against a Town Hall 11. And... Uh, yeah, this was almost a successful raid. Uh, you're going to see the golems come down, spread out. Uh, a few wizards on the edge there to create the funnel to the center. And yeah, Fort Quadquake goes in in the middle. Everybody goes heading in. We're going to get a bunch of uh, witches. I think maybe a little early on the... Uh, on the witch deployment, I think maybe, well, maybe a little late, in fact. Um, anyways, everybody kind of heads to the middle, and uh, some hogs tried to help out surrounding some of the defenses. Um, yeah, that friggin', uh, that eagle artillery is pretty savage, man. As you can see, the level 40 queen really, uh, she took a lot to put her down. And the skellies were helping out as well. Um, did get the town hall, which was all right. It's kind of easy to get in there and snipe the town hall on just about any base. Um, but as far as this one goes, as you can see, that eagle artillery just friggin' targeted the king. And then I realized that it targeted my queen, so I used their ability quick to think that I might be able to, to uh, avoid getting hammered by it, but I was wrong. And, uh, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to get my extra percentage. Um, Unfortunately, no, so I didn't get the 50, and uh, yeah, I didn't get the 2-star. That's what it's like attacking a Town Hall 11. That's kind of a, almost ready to be a Town Hall 11. Um, <laughs> yeah, he pulverized me. But that's how it goes. Uh, we can't expect that we're going we're gonna to be able to do well against any attack on any base. Um, we did our best, and honestly, I mean, we were just severely overmatched. I don't know, I don't know how the matching worked on this one, but, uh, the enemy clan, to our defense, they were obviously utilizing, um, Supercell's inability to complete the matching process properly. Um, they used that to their 100% advantage, and, uh, yeah, it really showed here, um, I think they were missing 12 flares come war time because they were all new recruits that they just pulled in town hall four five six um and then just you know gave them the boot as soon as war came because uh they knew they didn't need them they just needed them to keep that war search at a lower level and you know i i i I do like to keep the clan diversified in that manner just to make you know make the matching slightly uh less like uh i don't i don't know it's it's hard to say you know i can't really say that it's 100 percent bad it just it keeps the matching more more normal okay because most of us that we run around and uh we got life and you know we're not we're not rising to the top number one clan in the world um trying to push everybody to town hall 11 you know we're we're warriors we value war we value um, skilled attacks um we don't it's not our life and death 
and I don't want it to become that. So, I mean, we keep the, five, the Town Hall 6s and the 5s in there. Um, they are members of our clan. It's not a matter of them uh, just getting brought in to keep that, that um, thing leveled out. That's not, that's not the case. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's important to develop players. I mean, most of the players that we have, I've, I've been with for six, eight months from Town Hall 6 from Town Hall 4 even, right up to Town Hall 8. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've seen I've seen it all with these guys, and uh, we, you know, yeah, we did pretty well against a, a clan that was definitely more uh, more war-based and uh, just looking to, to kick the shit out of people um, a little bit more inferior than they are with the base quality. Um, I think we were better attackers. Their top two guys, make no mistake, were very strong. They were very good attackers. Um, but as far as the rest of their clan went, um, I mean, you can see on our side, we, we did really well on our defensive end. Big Gator had a good defense there, uh, two star, awesome Johnny, small Gator, and Ricky. These guys all defended well against, uh, Town Hall 9 attack. So that's a really good sign. Uh, but that also goes to show that their top guys were their attackers and the rest of them were basically bonus. So, yeah, I mean, kudos to our guys. I mean, they never gave up and uh, they always showed a lot of prowess. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with uh, a lot of the attacks in the war. So we're going to get right into the war recap now. Uh, we're going to show a couple of two-star attacks. Oh. Yeah, okay, so uh, maybe we'll show this one. This one was a pretty good attack. Um, it could have gone either way. Uh, just one second, and I'm going to pop right in. Okay, so yeah, this one could have gone either way. Um, Town Hall 11, but basically a glorified Town Hall 10. Um, yeah, he wasn't off the charts strong. But pretty decent funnel here. Uh, Archer Queen goes down. A couple wall breakers open up the uh, middle in between the uh, two golems to redirect them into the center of the base. And uh, yeah, King goes down. Some witches go down. Some more witches go down. And then um, some wizards and a bunch of hogs are going to come flying in here. So, unfortunately, I think it was about three or four seconds too early on the hogs. Um, and likewise with the heal spell. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and maybe a second too late on the freeze on the inferno on the rear side there. Um, I'm starting to get used to the freeze spell and uh, its capabilities and its duration. Uh, yeah. I, you know what? We're getting there. We're getting there. Becoming a Town Hall 10 attacker and uh, starting to really enjoy it. This was really close. This could have gone. Uh, I could have gotten probably the whole base if I had done those things that I had said there uh, properly. But uh, yeah, pretty decent two star attack against the Town Hall 11 slash 10 slash 9 and a half. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a very good account. So we're going to just zip right through that one. Um, weak walls, weak defense. Um, okay, moving on, we're going to move into Big Gator. Had a great three-star attack here against their number six. Goho Wee, which is his weapon of choice. Um, soon he's going to be incorporating the uh, Gola Loon. But, uh, yeah, here we go with a couple of wizards creating that funnel. I like that new... Uh, Funnel strategy that you're working there, getting on board with uh, with uh, what I what I've been kind of trying to uh, to tell people. I like that little uh, poison on the wit on the queen. That was pretty good. Slow her down from doing any damage. Um, Lava hound in the CC. So that was pretty uh, pretty good. It did uh, it did uh, slow us down a little bit on this attack, but you can see the hog riders are doing a really good job of uh, wrecking the base. Um, he had good patience on the uh, deployment of the heal spells. As you can see, he was uh, 
pretty much dead on with that heel there to the uh, south southwest of the town hall. Just picked up those hogs just as the uh, the giant bomb exploded, and then you're going to see another heel right now, right when that other giant bomb explodes. And uh, yeah, they're staying up, they're doing great. That premature um, um, <laughs> the premature ability on the queen. Uh, was a little bit and made me nervous, but she did get the king and she did take out that last uh, lava uh, lava pop and she's following all around the base trying to get everything in here. So that wizard's going MVP. Uh, I'm gonna take down the town hall and it was a pretty good attack. Uh, I really liked uh, I liked the results and I liked the execution. And lots of hogs, lots of cleanup troops there taking care of business and uh, yeah, great job, Gator. Glad to see you back in the win column. Um, it's been a bit of a rough ride as of late, but great job there. So uh, DC on number seven. Uh, this is going to be a modified pentaloon. You're going to see a bit of a queen walk here. I got to remember just uh, how much you can zoom out on this now. So yeah, you're seeing the queen go down. She's looking like the goal is to take out this upper air defense on the east side. Uh, king goes down, battles out the, the enemy king, um, just clears out a little bit of these structures here as well. Um, good deployment of the hounds. Nicely spread out. Uh, this is where it gets nasty. Rage spell is going to get dropped right here. Sorry, I, I got to remember not to use my mouse, my cursor, because it's not lining up properly. Another rage spell on the southeast uh, of this base, right over top of the air sweepers. Another one over top of the wizard tower pushes those balloons up, and uh, yeah, allows for some serious carnage there. And uh, one rage spell looked like it probably didn't even need to be used. Um, those balloons were definitely going to take out that air D. But yeah, pretty solid attack. Really wiped out the majority of this base. Um, very quickly, um, I like the modification there with the um, with the Archer Queen walk. She's still full health at the end of the raid. That makes me happy. Anytime that happens, that's a good thing. Um, you know, it was a pretty strong attack when. So yeah, we're doing really well so far. I mean, all these attacks were were clutch, man. They were all clutch because we really. I, I'm, pretty sure these guys are going to remember us they're going to remember us that with the guys that were nowhere near their level that gave them a run for their money and uh, so you're going to see a pentaloon legitimate pentaloon here from uh, dark knight luring the uh clan castle dragon to the east side via the archer queen poison spell is going to go down king's going to get dropped for distraction um, use that queen ability very early just to make sure that that uh, dragon goes down and now you're going to see hounds coming in from the north side all the way clockwise around to the east and then a trail of balloons following in behind rage spell is going to go down over top of the mortar on the north uh, rage spell is going to go down over top of the wizard on the east and uh, yeah, a nice quick little uh, haste spell there was pretty uh, nifty. Another rage spell is going to push everybody through the town hall. And yeah, this base gets absolutely friggin' hammered. Uh, another rage spell getting everybody over to the last remaining defenses. Um, Hound is really just, uh, just tanking the crap out of that wizard tower, archer tower. So that's really solid. Um, good times there. Balloon's going to go in and just pop that wizard tower, and uh, it's all over. Town Hall went down via the pops as usual, and Archer Queen is still running around at full health. Pretty solid attack. Um, not as many balloons left as normal, but uh, different base layout. It's kind of peculiar. Solid attack, though. Something that a lot of people could really get into. Um, Figuring out how to pull that one off. Dark Knight does the uh, exact same attack on number nine, which actually took place prior to the attack on number eight. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So you're going to see the balloon lure a little bit time consuming. Another bizarre base layout. I've seen this before. It is an internet base, but similar uh, takedown of the dragon. But yeah, you're going to see pretty quick deployment of the pups or the hounds and the uh, balloons trailing. And then similar on the on the northeast side where the balloons are just trailing away, uh, raid spell goes down on heading into both of those air defense, and then that just pushes the balloons right into them. And then uh, another uh, another raid spell on the south side. While those other defenses were preoccupied, the archers get the archer tower gets taken down by the backside balloons. And, uh, yeah, another rage spell pushes everybody into that last air defense, and that's it, man. This base is naked. Got two lava hounds still going. Hay spell definitely unnecessary. Um, way too many balloons left here. But nothing wrong with that, considering that two of the hounds did not pop, which tells me that uh, this base was completely overwhelmed. It's all over but the cleanup. It was a great holiday season. Um, Finally, some of those Town Hall 9s started to uh, to get their shit together. Um, it just wasn't quite enough. But we had some really good Town Hall 8 attacks as well. Um, my buddy Spanky back in the game. Uh, he's been kind of struggling a little bit, finding his, uh, his niche. He, <laughs> he drops that hog and finds a mystery Tesla, which stopped him on his lure, but... That's funny how that works out sometimes. So you're going to see the uh, double poison drop here. Help kill that CC dragon and balloon. Take them right out of the picture. Like I've said before, guys, if you're going to bring uh, four wizards and a dragon and some barbs in your CC, why don't you use them? Use one poison, kill the balloons, put the, dam the damage the dragon to half health or whatever, quarter health. Take them over to the side and just pop them quick. And then use it. Use your hogs. If not, I mean, you really don't need to bring those extra wizards. You don't need to bring the, the dragon for sure. Um, that's just some extra hogs you can bring in for maybe just holding on to them for the backside or something um, to help with the cleanup if you're struggling for time. You can use them to take out those outside structures. But I like the uh, commitment to the hogs. Um, you got right in there and just uh, put them down. Um, good heal spell placement as well. I don't, uh, I don't remember if there was any, uh, double, uh, double bomb locations here, but, uh, he definitely did not have any complications with them. Um, heal spell up on the, on the north side here. As you can see, you know, I don't know. Again, it was a little bit intermittent on the hog deployment. If you're going to be bringing them in later, maybe bring them in sort of surgically around the defenses, adding a couple, uh, a few on the, you know, just behind them as they're engaged with other other defenses, other hogs. Um, that's probably a good deployment method. I wouldn't suggest uh, this method. If this was a harder base, it might have been might have only been a two star. I just feel like uh, bringing in the hogs from the rear twice. Any traps that you manage to avoid the first time around, um, you're more than likely going to hit bringing those in later under the same pathing that you brought the hogs in the first time so excellent job though i mean clutch everybody hit just trying to help out with uh some things that are going to make uh, these attacks um three stars coming on uh, maxed out bases so yeah excellent attack mr spanky glad to see that um you pulled out some stops here comes gdh very strong attacker He's going to use a go volo attack. Easy lure. Once you get that dragon and balloon out, um, it makes it a lot easier to uh, to uh, to bring your focus to them outside of all of the defenses trying to pound on your troops as well as the uh, CC troops. So yeah, it's not a bad idea. Considering we have the extra thirty seconds now, it really makes things. Uh, a lot less complicated. Use the lure. But this worked out really well as well because uh, you got to create that funnel 
on the uh, south side, so all you had to do is drop a few wizards in a line on the west side, and everybody else is going to head directly into the base, following the trail of defenses and structures in the middle. All right, so he's just going to push those Valks right into the center here right now, and they're going to get under a rage, and they're going to go through, wipe out those air defenses. Then you're going to see some backside balloons, very uh, savvy attack, um, as always, from GDH. Um, excellent job there to uh, utilize those level 5 balloons, which... They're not overly strong, but when the defenses are preoccupied, uh, they do really definitely do their job, and uh, they're more than adequate under the circumstances. So you can see that uh, this is an easy three-star base. Excellent job, GDH. Yeah, we had some fantastic attacks. I like the... Uh, yeah, I like the... Um, trying some new some new strategies and uh, just the adventure okay so we're gonna see another Govalo attack here by GDH again uh, pretty decent pretty easy lure giant goes down just to kind of distracts a little bit um, these are some good attacks to be getting used to as a higher level town hall 8 um, really good to be getting used to the Govalo and the uh, and the uh, the Goho Wii as well. Um, the, the trick is just to figure out uh, when to be using those attacks. Um, if there isn't a lot of double giant bomb locations in a base, Golem is really unnecessary. Um, I've said this before. If you know, if the uh, if the Archer Queen, as far as the Town Hall 9 attack, if the Archer Queen is easily accessible from outside of the base, um, again, the Golem is not really a necessity. Um, she can be easily lured just off to the edge and taken out without too much trouble. But as you can see, really good, um, nice deployment of the balloons. Um, starting on the, on the southeast side where the air defenses were definitely not going to be a, a factor as, at all. And uh, these wizards and the, the kill squad really did their job. Golems are still going. And, um, yeah, absolutely overruns this base. Excellent job. Nothing but clean up left. And so many troops to do it. Yeah, savage, savage attack. Good reading of the base. Um, again, the Govalo is a good strategy to use. Um, on bases that have a wide open center where all the air defenses are all kind of clumped together. Uh, because there are, you're going to find a lot of giant bomb locations that aren't going to do a lot of damage to those Valks because of their high HP. But Awesome Johnny comes in. I know this is three Govalos in a row, but this was, uh, I was really impressed with Johnny. This is not a uh, strategy he's, he's uh, very accustomed to using. And uh, he did it quite, quite remarkably. I was very impressed. Um, as you can see here, he's just luring that dragon off to the edge. <laughs> I like that. Eh? Pop that earthquake. Drop those golems. You know what? As you can see when this was happening, um, he wasn't really sure what he was going to use to distract the dragon. Um, it's pretty easy. Those golems have a really high HP, and they're only there just to, to tank for the Valks and the Wizards. And uh, they did their job 100%. So you're going to see those Valks bust into this base. And they are going to go friggin' ape shit all over those air defenses. Uh, wizards are working really hard on the north side of the ring. That core is just about down and in perfect deployment of these balloons. Very uh, strategic, very surgical-like. Um, defenses are all preoccupied, so down the down goes the balloons on the back side to uh, got lots of balloons. Um, yeah, just to work that ring, buddy. That's going to get your troops out of the inside of the base. That's going to get those defenses dead from the outside in. And yeah, that's excellent uh, execution. I, I don't have any complaints there. That was a really good attack. Um, from Johnny, and that was the first one I believe I've seen you do in war. That was uh, a Govalo. That was that was pretty strong. Great job.
Uh, we got Spanky coming in again. A six star war for him. Six star war for GDH. Six star war for Dark Knight. Um, uh, yeah, everybody really pulled out some stops here. Just speed up the lure. If you're going to go through all that trouble, Spanky, of, uh, luring them over there. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, yes, excellent job here. Uh, Hogs go in. Just, uh, pretty, a pretty good commitment this time around to getting almost all of those hogs down um, prior to this attack. I mean, he has a tendency of kind of just holding off and being a little bit skittish about whether he's dropping those hogs uh, in the right spot. So he holds off on a bunch, but this was a really strong attack. Uh, Poison was a little early on that one. Should have maybe been over on that wizard tower in that vicinity just to kill those skellies. But as you can see, they're all dead anyway. So. Lights out. This base was absolutely demolished. So many hogs left. Um, very rushed town hall eight. Very good attack. Very good. Uh, Gator comes in here on number 15. Um, everybody's just loving these hog attacks. They are sensational. Um, yeah, if you don't get it the first time, you can really help. Uh, Help out your team and uh, get them to see those traps. The balloon attack strategies sometimes have a tendency of uh, failing, but uh, I like the, the witch and the wizards. Takes out that dragon in a heartbeat and a uh, nice wall of hogs on the west side of the base. Um, some nice heal spells there. One more over top of the mortar on the east side, and that's going to basically spell the end of this base. Crushed. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, excellent job there. Um, Gator was huge this war. I believe it was a six star war for, uh, for Tally. And yeah, five star war for Big. So that was pretty solid. Uh, basically, yeah, like I can't say it enough. Our, our clan played sensationally. Um, ben comes in a little bit late. Got an opportunity to attack this guy. Um, nice easy base. A lot of wide open spaces, which can be scary, but honestly, those wide open spaces are just, in, in a base style like this, is just basically some dude that's too lazy to build a real base. So yeah, in comes those hogs, and uh, yeah, dirty. It's just going to get dirty. Heal spell seems to go down on every wizard tower, which is optimal. Lots of hogs there for the cleanup. Um, the king is just there playing, working that ring as well. Uh, Missed that dark drill in the bottom. Would have been good to hit that by, with the king, but uh, can't win them all. <laughs> you did a great, a great job there. Great attack. Um, Gator again with another great attack. We're going to show Ricky do a nice, uh, a nice attack here with the dragons. Earthquake and uh, lightning didn't really work out too well in uh, Ricky's favor there. Uh, but he did somehow manage to pull this off with his dragons. Uh, I'm going to attribute this to the weak defenses. I'm not going to attribute this to a fantastic attack. You know what? Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But he did manage to come through this with a victory. Three-star raid. Um, great job, Ricky. I don't get to post uh, too many videos on you because um, you do attack pretty low. But I figured, hey, it's New Year's. Let's get everybody in. Um, this was a really good, uh, really good war by just about every single player on the team. So Emperor Sammy comes in here on a Town Hall 8. He is a Town Hall 7. Obviously, this is a very, very, very rushed Town Hall 8. But nonetheless, um, he went to work. Got a good strategy. Good, uh, <clears throat> good deployment. Good execution. And, uh, good results. I don't know why that dragon doesn't know which way he wants to freaking turn. Stooge. Anyways, so you're going to see, uh, yeah, a couple of dragons there, a couple of dragons here. <laughs> Just kind of pushes everything right through the middle. Uh, the balloons didn't quite go where he wanted, but they were unnecessary. He had the three rages. Uh, did a great job there pushing up in against that air sweeper. Like I said, it wasn't going to be much of a factor in this raid. <clears throat> Sorry. Man, I got a freaking sore throat. 
Um, yeah, the, the air sweeper wasn't much of an issue uh, given the level of the defenses. So not going to complain about anybody pushing through on that uh, up into the wind of the, of the sweeper. Sometimes it's a requirement. It's a necessity. People place those sweepers uh, expecting that people are only going to come down wind. So then they put their air defense on the opposite side of the town hall and they think nobody's going to go the other way. But you know what? That's not necessarily the case. Rage Spell will do a lot of work for your dragons. Sammy had another great attack there. Um, Lolden, great attack. Yolo had a, a couple of good attacks. Um, unfortunate, they didn't turn out. They didn't pan out. Uh, Monkey King also had some great attacks. Uh, Wing Jr. had no great attacks. Um, yeah, Nick, Shades, great job. Um, our entire clan, you know what? So so proud and uh, impressed and uh, pleased with how we're how we're working together, how we're uh, helping each other out with the strategies and uh, absolutely just we don't falter. We knew we were outmatched. We went through and we powered into it. Unfortunately, we couldn't come out of it with a win, but uh, sensational, sensational war. And we've got another good one coming. Um, decent clan. Level six, likewise to us. Uh, very little wins. I have a feeling that they're not going to be very strong attackers. But I am actually in the process of dropping my Inferno Towers. Okay, so I finally feel like I'm ready for these. Um, just wanted to get some troops up, extra spells, extra camps. Um, just be ready for those Inferno Towers because I don't want to be bringing us a harder war if I'm not capable of uh, fulfilling my end of the bargain. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look to get those to level 2 as quick as possible. And um, we're on our way to level 7 clan. Hopefully by the end of January we're going to hit that mark. Um, happy 2016. And uh, keep clashing, peeps. <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna